what is up you guys i'm jerry the gummy bear we are reporting live from megacon orlando we're about to enter we set the camera so you can see everything check it out guys uh we're about to enter are you excited christian <laughs> so this is christian and his brother's first time so we're about to enter we got some of our favorite things. Activations joining us here today. You can find them all on the community. I'm Doug Dimmerdome, owner of the Dimzel Dimmerdome. How you doing? Hey. Look at that hat. Oh my god, dude, you look awesome, man. You guys, he is literally right there. He just came back from break. And yeah, we still got uh, another line and a half to go. Yeah, we're gonna be bad, bad. I'm so excited. Yeah. So fancy. Yes. All right, you wanna come on this way? All right. Yeah. Hey guys, so I'm here with. My name's Andy. Hi. Hi, and Hi. then with. Sarah. Hi. All right. So, uh, quick, uh, what are you guys gonna ask Batman? Well, I don't necessarily have a question for Mr. Kevin Conway, um, but I am really excited to thank him for being a big part of my childhood and getting me through tough times. Um, I went to school for a musical theater and I had to drop out, but just like he's in music, like he's a musical theater um, major, it feels really nice to have that like kindred spirit in my favorite character. Yes, I love it. Okay, what does Batman um, mean to you? He's really cool, but I'm just an emotional support wife for her. Aww. So, so we're just chilling. I like that. Okay, <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. Okay. Hey you guys, I am here with Sandra. Okay, so I have a quick question. What is your favorite Batman the Animated Series uh, episode? Harley Quinnade. Harley Quinnade? Oh, that is a classic. Okay, so if you could be any uh, Batman villain, who would you be? The Riddler. The Riddler? Oh, yes. Wow, you hear it first, you guys. All right, thank you so much, love. Thank you. <laughs> guys, I am here with my friends. What's up, I'm Kevin. Yeah, and today is Kevin's birthday, so I want you guys to all drop a, a heart and say happy birthday to Kevin. Um, yeah, we're still in line, waiting for Batman. So, I want to know, what is your favorite episode of the anime series? Yeah, uh, my favorite one is going to be the one play face. Yeah. I don't know the name of it, but I love the meaning of the message of it. Uh, because play face, you turn so, so many things, so if you can act there, right? Yeah. So, uh, but, so Batman really... You know, he's Batman, so he brought out, he pretty much uh, brought out that, uh, that realism into that episode, and it meant so much to me. Yeah? I also like Purchase of a Dream, yeah. the one with Mad Hatter. Yes. That one was awesome, and has some influence from the Alice in Wonderland theme, and uh, that one just stuck with me, man. I, I really loved it. So, what does Batman mean to you? Batman is, uh, he's a symbol of heroism. He's, uh... When he becomes Batman, he is his true identity. Bruce Wayne is the character that he puts out. Yes. You know, that's what I feel that Batman is. Batman is the true, uh, he's the embodiment of, of confidence. He is uh, the embodiment of what, what uh, his parents' death means to him. So when his father and parents died, that really, that's what uh, made him what he was. Yeah. And, um, also, I feel that Joker, Mark Hamill, yeah. great fucking actor, right? Yes. Uh, I feel that I feel that Mark Hamill made Batman, and Batman makes makes Joker. Yes. Without without the two, I feel like they both make uh, balance yes. in life. So yes. without each other, they're nothing. They make they they're a symbol of what they are. Yes. You hear it, guys? That is the true Batman fan right there. That is the answer I've been waiting for all day so again i just want to say happy birthday Kevin. thank you man thank i hope you. you enjoy your first time meeting batman and i hope you cry like me and yeah and yeah thank thank you. You. Hey guys, it's here at Megacon. We ran into Firestarter, S Storm, and Jubilee. 
All right, guys, I have a question. So, what inspired you to uh, dress up like that? Uh, more, more or less for me, you don't see enough villains. Everybody wants to be the hero, but no one wants to be the bad guy. Right. Bad guys have more fun. That is true. <laughs> what about you, Storm? For me, what I grew up watching the 90s X Men. Yes. So I always love Storm. Yes, and you? There's had a lot of representation of Asian culture, so I like to represent Boobly as well. Our representation matters. Yeah. All right, you're here first, you guys. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. No problem. Here we're at MegaCon with the tool. Yes, okay. So, what inspired you to uh, do this look today? Uh, it's maximum effort. I'm a big fan of Deadpool movies, and uh, I've worked a long time on this costume. Yeah, so I started out as a Halloween costume and kind of just upgraded over the years, like last couple years. So, you built this like yourself? Uh, most of it, yeah. I bought the mask and uh, I bought like the shoulder pads and the belt. Wow. Uh, I made pretty much the rest. Dude, you're like the best looking Deadpool I've seen all day. I, oh, thanks, yeah, man. dude, you're awesome. Oh, I appreciate that. All thank right, you. thank you. Cool. Hey guys, we're we're here at Orlando MegaCon. We are with. Cool. Okay, so what was your inspiration for the look? Johnny Depp, I love him. Yes. Yeah. He's and you, right now. And you made all this. I, I got, I went online and I got some help from people online. You know what? Hey, it's all the effort that matters, okay? It looks awesome though. What do you think? Do you think he's going to win uh, against the uh, Amber Heard? Oh, yeah, for sure. He's in the right. Yeah, no, yeah, I agree. No, I totally agree. I think what, what, what they did to him for like Pirates of the Caribbean is trash. Yeah. So yeah, honestly, honestly dude, that's like the right. best cosplay you had. Thank you. Well, thank you. Hey guys, we're here at MegaCon with. I'm Kato, also known as MonsterTron on Instagram and Twitter. Look at what, what, what they did, oh my gosh. Yeah. This, this is uh, Helga the Dragon. Helga is, well, you can't really see it in this entire year. This is my friend uh, yeah, I mean, I Reaver on uh, DeviantArt is uh, modeling my character. <laughs> but Helga the Dragon is a barbarian with a big iron blade, but you know, I can't have that here. Maybe. Yeah. So we're <laughs> and this this, uh, this piece was a collaboration between myself and an uh, artist, Secret Chicken Art, who is unfortunately not active on social media currently. But she they did most of the um, armature here and the do a little spin real quick. Yeah, there you go. And uh, they also hand uh, custom did all the line, the scale work here. Yeah. And I did most of the scale work, uh, the horns here. I crafted the horns by. Uh, Myself with uh, epoxy and FOMO. Yeah. And actually, fun fact about this horn, I use a bit of a, a coat hanger mixed with um, epoxy to build these scales, and I added a little bit of like extra scale detail around the mask. Yeah. So it was pretty much a um, combined effort to put this costume together. You did amazing. Thank you. That looked really cool. Well, thank All right, thank you so, you so much. much. Hey you guys, we're here at MegaCon Orlando 2022 with I'm, I'm Harley. Samurai Harley and Samurai, Samurai Joker. Joker. Oh my gosh. Okay, so how long did it take you guys to make this? 
this was months in the months in the making. We made it over the course of a couple of years. I didn't dedicate all my time to it. Yeah. But it took months to put it together. Oh my God! It's, that... a, it's a traditional samurai uh, armor piece. It's based on historical models. All of the lames, uh, which are made out of EVA prop foam, are uh, bound together to give it the form. They're heat sealed, plastic dipped, and then heat formed. And then this is all decorative lacing, about 300 yards of decorative lacing. Whoa. Total overall between the two armor pieces is about 12,000 holes punched and laces ran through it. She did all of the soft armor um, and all of the uh, garments, which are traditional Japanese all the way down underneath. Yes, do really spin. Covered by armor. But yeah. This is all traditional Japanese uh, style. She did the Jinbeori and I did the, the Kabutos. These practice swords are purchased and modified for character colors. No, yeah. We purchased the tabby shoes because we didn't know how to make tabby shoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. just colored, so yeah. we, we dyed them. And what was the inspiration? Like, what was the concept? Uh, so, uh, I'm a huge uh, 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 steward of uh, uh, Japanese history. I love the Sengoku period. Uh -huh. um, and I also love Joker and DC Comics and Marvel Comics. I love it, everything comic. And I thought it was a perfect mat match. I, I had seen that there was a Batman ninja, yes. but I didn't personally like the way Joker looked in that. Yeah. I thought it was more appropriate for him to be a Ronin, a masterless samurai. Um, and uh, uh, so are a chaos in that. So that's where the inspiration for this came from. Um, and also, it's right on the heels of Ghost of Tsushima being so popular. Yeah. Um, but uh, anyway, this I started making prior to Ghost of Tsushima release, but I was familiar with the game. So those are kind of the, the inspirations of that. It's just... Wow, you guys look amazing. Honestly, this is like the best couple cosplay I've seen today. Oh, thank you so Hands much. Hands down, like maybe all this weekend too. All right, can I? I'm just, I'm just gonna back up and then you have to like do like a little spin. Thank you. So I can like see. Oh my god, you guys look amazing. And the swords too, yo. This is so dope. Oh my gosh. Cool thing. So Christian, what are your thoughts on your first convention ever? It was pretty fun. First of all, who are you cosplaying as? I'm one of the, <laughs> one of the Shinobis from one of the series of Naruto, an anime one, where you can easily find on any website or app. But um, so far from my first day, I mean, it's pretty fun. I mean, I met a lot of cosplayers and stuff. I mean, it's been pretty fun. A lot of cosplayers out here are really nicely dressed. I'm the only one who isn't. Are you kidding me? That's like spot on. Like, you look like a TV show. What are you talking about, man? Either way, first day, pretty excellent. A lot of people. Yeah. I've seen a lot of spots here. Got to enjoy it all. Okay. Do you feel as though this has inspired you to cosplay more in the future or no? It has. Yeah? Honestly, being here and seeing this for the first time makes me want to cosplay more. And recommend others to cosplay as well. It's pretty fun. It's hard labor, hard work. Depending on the, the expenses and stuff, yeah. it's well worth it. And towards the end, you're going to create nothing but a masterpiece. I think so too, dude. You look awesome. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs>